Uh, dear friends, welcome to A's American English. What you are going to see is the personality development book. You are taking the page number 25 to 26. What you are going to see is the vocabularies, corporate vocabularies. These are the vocabularies which you have to use in your daily day to day conversation. It is not exactly it is necessary for you to know much of grammar, high tech grammar. Try to understand these vocabularies. There's more than enough, right? For time being. Let us start with one. The topic here is countryside. What do you mean by country, anybody? Countryside. Hmm? Country is a country, India is a country. Okay. There is one other meaning for country. What is that? Country means you are a country fellow. <coughs> village. Coming from a village. So countryside is a village area. Right? Countryside means a village area. Flats, you mean you know what do you mean by flats? Apartments. You know what is the meaning of apartments and rooms? Now coming here. What do you mean by the first word? It is a group of words. Brought up in a countryside means what? Born and brought up in a village. I am brought up in a countryside means what? I am born and brought up in a village. village. Born and brought up in a countryside. So, these are the thing words which you have to use, these phrases in your day to day conversation. I am brought up in a countryside. I am brought up in a city area. Means what? Just opposite, contrast words. What do you mean by landscape? The land and its surrounding areas, the landscape. Landscape means, see, you go to a uh, hill station or a village. You find all the places, you know, farms and fields and everything is there. Hmm? That is called landscape, right? Next, what do you mean by third word open fields? The land and its surrounding areas is called open fields, right? Field means what? Farm means what? Garden means what? Field, farm and garden. Anybody? Hmm. Field. Paddy field, where they cultivate agriculture products, um, garden, rose flower, flower gardens, farms, coconut farms, plantations where, where you have. So open fields means the land and its surrounding areas. Towering mountains, what do you mean by towering mountains? It is the meaning is called big mountains, tower. Tower means what? Which rises up. Towering mountains. Big mountains. Fifth one. Daughter and or son of the soil. What do you mean by daughter or son of the soil? A person born from a particular place is called daughter or son of the soil. Abdul Kalam is the son of son of our soil means what? Son of Tamil Nadu. Born and brought up in Tamil Nadu. Right sir? So, born and brought up. Tranquil countryside. What do you mean by tranquil? Calm and quiet. Tranquil means calm and quiet. Tranquil countryside means a peaceful village area. What do you mean by tranquilizer? Anybody tranquilizer? Recently in Tiruvannamalai, you found six elephants were roaming around, isn't it? They injected and they made the elephants to faint. That is called tranquilizer. Tranquilizer means what? Making them calm. That injection is called tranquilizer. Tranquil countryside means in village it is calm and quiet. Tranquil means what? Calm and quiet. Tranquil. Seventh word, secured beaches. Beaches where you do not find many people is called secured beaches. Secured. In Goa, certain areas are there to secured. You don't find much of people there. Secured beaches. Next word, eighth word, spectacular view. What do you mean by spectacular view? A wonderful view. Spectacular means what? Nice to watch. Good to watch. Wonderful to watch. That is called spectacular view. Far from the madding crowd. What do you mean by far from the madding crowd? From a busy city to a village. From a busy city to a village. Chennai. 
you see this is Kodambakam area, you just stand there for some time, you find thousands of cars and buses and bikes, people are moving in thousands and lakhs, isn't it? You go to a place somewhere far away area where there are no people, that is called far from the madding crowd, very quiet, calm, you go to Uti Kote Canal. So far from the madding crowd means you are going out of the crowded place, right sir? Next, ten, mountain of work, see this phrase is mountain of work, what do you mean by that? Heavy work, I have heavy work, suppose if you want to say that you are a busy man, what do you say? I have mountain of work, a huge and heavy work like the size of the mountain, I have mountain of work, whenever you want to say that you are busy, what do you say? I have mountain of work because the works are in plenty. Next, five story apartment, five floor apartment, residential building, apartment is a residential building, right? Five story, S-T-O-R-E-Y, story apartment, so five floor apartment, right sir? Coming here, twelfth, housewarming function, what do you mean by housewarming function sir, anybody? It is a function to be arranged before moving to a new house. You are shifting your house or you purchase, you purchased a house or you built a house. When you want to go to that house, you arrange certain functions, isn't it? That is called housewarming function. Next come here, long let accommodation, long let let, let means what? Allowing, but here let means what? Rented, let means what? Rent, long let accommodation. You are stay, you are going to stay there for one year or two year or five years. Long rent accommod let accommodation means renting a house or a place for a long time. Got it? Okay, coming here. Fully furnished flat. What do you mean by 14th word? Fully furnished flat. How do you pronounce? Fur, furnished. You have to use ish. Furnished flat. A fully furnished flat means a place to be sold or rented with full furniture. So you are going to rent a place or sell a place which is fully furnished. Furnished means what? AC is there, bedroom, bed is there, um, kitchen items are there, everything is there. Sofas, television. So it is called fully furnished. Ah, uh, 15, feel yourself home. What do you mean by that? Feel comfortable, make yourself home. Suppose you come to my house, I tell you, feel yourself home means what? Make yourself comfortable, right? Home means what? Love and affection. Huh? House means what? It's a building, home. That's why they, uh, they call a girl homely, homely girl. They don't call housely girl, right? Love and affection. So the home is called love and affection. Feel yourself home. Next, 16th word, homesick. What do you mean by homesick? Always feeling lonely and thinking about your home. You are put up in a hostel. You always think about your parents. Always think about your home. Then you call it as that sick as it is not because of fever. It is not because of headache. This sick is Homesick, homesick. Next, flat is completely refurnished. What do you mean by flat is completely refurnished? A house is completely renovated. A flat is completely refurnished. Refurnished means what? Alteration has happened. New, new things has come. Refurnished. Paintings has been done. It looks so new. Right, sir? Okay, coming here, I am not particularly at home with mathematics. What do you mean by that? I am not particularly home with engineering course. I am not particularly home with computer course. I am not particularly home with Hindi language. I am not particularly, I am not particularly at home with grammar. Means, I don't like, <clears throat> I don't like mathematics. I don't like grammar. I am not particularly home with the politicians means what? I don't like politicians, right? 
So all these vocabulary is able to understand. What do you mean by brought up in a countryside? Brought and brought up in village. What do you mean by landscape? Land and surrounding area. What do you mean by open field? The land and its surrounding area once again. What do you mean by towering mountains? Big mountains. What do you mean by daughter or son of soil? Born and brought up in a village. Say, what do you mean by tranquil countryside? Peaceful, Peaceful village side. What do you mean by secure beaches where no people are there? What do you mean by spectacular view? A wonderful view. What do you mean by far from the madding crowd? You are away from the busy city and you are going to a village. What do you mean by 10th word? Mountain of work. Heavy work. What do you mean by five story apartment? Residential building where you have five floors. What do you mean by housewarming function? A function to be arranged before moving to a new house. Okay, what do you mean by long lit accommodation? Renting a house for a long period. Lit means what? Renting, right? What do you mean by fully furnished flat? Full of furnitures are there. What do you mean by feel yourself home? Feel comfortable with. What do you mean by homesick? Always thinking about your home. What do you mean by flat is completely refurnished? Complete renovated. What do you mean by I am not particularly at home with something? You are not comfortable with something. You able to understand all these 18 vocabularies? Are you sure? Okay, sir. <coughs> Coming here. 19th word, homely atmosphere. What do you mean by homely atmosphere? Very comfortable with. My college, I have a homely, at I feel the homely atmosphere in my college. Means what? I feel so comfortable. I feel a homely atmosphere in my, in the theater means what? I like it. What do you mean by take out a mortgage? What do you mean by mortgage? No. Keeping your... Fixed asset in the bank and getting loan. Keeping your house, land, property and getting a loan is called mortgage. mortgage. Take out a mortgage means keeping your house for loan. Right, sir. Next, dilapidated building. What do you mean by dilapidated building? It is a damaged building. Dilapidated building, right? Damaged. Any building which is damaged is called dilapidated. What do you mean by no room for you? We cannot join you. No room for you. For example, you go for a movie, you say to your friend, no room for you means what? You are not allowed. Okay. It is roomy. What do you mean by it is roomy? The classroom is very roomy means lot of space is there. It is roomy. The classroom is roomy. The office is roomy. My room is roomy. Means lot of space is there. Very spacious. What do you mean by flat? Individual house amongst different house in a same building called flat. Flat means what? In a building, different, different uh, small, small houses are there. So, it is a flat. What do you mean by apartment? Having a lot of flats in the same building. Having a lot of flats is called apartment. What do you mean by 26th word? Very important word, rent. See, now you are going to find the difference between rent, rental, charge, rate, fare and price. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. First, you have to know the meaning of rent. What do you mean by rent? A monthly payment to, lie, to live a place which does not belong to you. A monthly payment to live in a place which does not belong to you. It is called rent. Rental. See, you are adding AL. It becomes an adjective. What is that meaning? To use something from a hiring company for a fixed period of time. Rental means you want air condition. You take air condition from a company and you say, okay, weekly once I pay this, monthly once I pay this. That is called rental. You hire a car, you say, for one day this much amount you are going to give. For one week you are going to give this much. That is called rent. You understand the difference between rent and rental? Rental means for a fixed period of time. What do you mean by charge, sir? The amount of money to be paid for a service. For example, telephone charge. For service. Telephone is a service. Doctor charge. It is also a service. Internet. It is also a service. So, telephone charge. Current charge. So, you ch say it is a charge. The amount to be paid for a service. It is called charge. Coming here. Rate. 
29th word. What do you mean by rate? The use of service and paying money which is calculated on an hourly basis, weekly basis or monthly basis. So, what do you mean by rate? You are getting the service. Service means what? A nurse, a doctor, electricity, anything. A service is provided and you calculate, it, calculate based on hourly base, weekly base, daily base or monthly base. Then it is called rate. You able to understand sir? What do you mean by fare? F-A-R-E, fare. The cost of traveling by train, bus, plane, etc. It is called fare. F-A-R-E means what? The cost of traveling by bus, train and flight is called fare. What is the bus fare? What is the train fare? What is the aeroplane's fare? Right? F-A-R-E. The amount which you have to pay to the transport. It is called fare. F-A-R-E. So, what do you mean by price, sir? P-R-I-C-E. The amount of money you we pay to buy a product is called price. The amount of money we pay to buy a product is called price. What do you mean by economical? A product which is cheaper than some other product of same quality. Economical means what? See, same product is there. For example, uh, a watch, right? A watch. Here and the other place. Say, for example, um, you take a car, Maradi car. Here one price, in Pondicherry nearby, 120 kilometers, there they sell it for one price. Here it is 20,000 costly, there it is uh, 20,000 cheaper. So, it is economical. Same product where the price is less, that is called economical, right, sir? What do you mean by higher? H I R E, this is also a very important word. Paying and using a product on daily basis, weekly or monthly basis is called higher, H I R E. You use a product and pay an amount based on daily, weekly or monthly, then it is called higher, right, sir? Number 34th word, manner. What do you mean by manner? The way or behavior towards other people. Manner means what? M-A-N-N-E-R. How do you behave towards other people? That is called manner. Next, you are going to continue with manners and all. Okay. For uh, till now, till 34, you just see. What do you mean by homely atmosphere? Very comfortable with. What do you mean by take out a mortgage? Keeping your asset and getting a loan. What do you mean by dilapidated building? It is a damaged building. What do you mean by no room for you? We cannot join you. What do you mean by it is roomy? It is very spacious. What do you mean by flat? Individual house in a apartment. What do you mean by apartment? Lot of flats. In a building is called apartment. What do you mean by rent? A monthly payment to a place which does not belong to you. What do you mean by rental? Using a product from a hiring company for a fixed period of time is called rental. What do you mean by charge? Amount of money paid for the service, like electricity charge. What do you mean by rate? Which uh, any service or which is calculated on a basis of week or hour or anything or daily, it is called rate. What do you mean by fare? The cost of traveling by bus, train and plane is called fare. Bus fare, train fare, plane fare. What do you mean by economical? Same product which is sold at a cheaper rate that is called economical what do you mean by higher paying and using a product on a daily basis or weekly basis what do you mean by manner the way or behavior towards other people is called manner hope you are able to understand okay now what do you mean by dilapidated building mike does not function Okay, give me. Okay, the mic is off. It's okay. It's a damaged building. Damaged building. Fine. Hope you are able to understand. Okay. Uh, one minute. Dilapidated building. It's buildings. a damaged building. It's a damaged building. Fine. What do you mean by rent? The monthly payment. The property does not belongs to us. What do you mean by fare? F A R E. Um, 
for traveling purpose, tra cost for traveling. Like what do you mean by mortgage? Keeping your house for loan. Very fine. Okay, you sir. What do you mean by daughter or son of the soil? A person born from a particular place. What do you mean by secured beaches? Uh, beaches where you do not uh, find many people in. What do you mean by I am not comfortable? I am not particularly home with certain things. I am not particularly home with certain things. I am not particularly I'm home not with uh, Hindi language. Hindi languages. You don't like. Okay, sir. I will understand. Okay. Okay, what do you mean by it's roomy? Uh, very spacious. What do you mean by homely atmosphere? Uh, very comfortable with. What do you mean by mountain of work? Um, I have a lot of work, busy. Okay, what do you mean by towering mountains? Uh, the big, big, big mountains. Fine, fine, sir. Please. Okay, madam, why don't you? Can you form a sentence using charge? Charge. The amount of money, money, for paid for a service of. Okay, what do you mean by dilapidated building? Dilapidated, damaged building. Very fine. Okay, homely atmosphere. Can you form a sentence using homely? Sentence, you have to form your own sentence. Very comfortable. Very comfortable with. with okay, Chennai. Chennai. Has a homely atmosphere. atmosphere. Okay, fine. Sit down, you can. Can you form a sentence using, uh, I mean, what do you mean by spectacular view? Wonderful view. Okay. Uh, then, uh, uh, what do you mean by uh, brought up in a countryside? Born up, brought up in a village. Very fine. Sit down, sit down. I shortly go in for Tamil and then come here. Nanbarla Engulodi, a personality development book, Edutukulanga Pakka, Yerubatanji Yerubatar, number one. Brought up in a countryside. Country and all in a gramat and country and all Nadu and Solam, country and all gramam and Solam. Brought up in a countryside now or gramat lay, Valaka Pataven. I am brought up in a countryside now, a gramat lay, Valaka Pataven. Landscape and all in a or Yadam, other Chutri Rikakudi, made Balangal, other Chutri Rikakudi, Edangal, Malayal, Yellami, landscape and Solom. Open fields and all in a Tiranda Veli, Tiranda Veli Adam. Open fields, all Towering mountains, towering and all in a way the balai. Daughter, son of the soil and all man in mind and man in the man, man in mahal. Daughter of soil or son of the soil. Tranquil countryside, tranquil and all amidi. Amidiana, gramat, yadam. Secured beaches and all. And the kadakrayoram yar mirkamatarkal. Spectacular view and all. Or par padar ki iri mi aakir ka kuri edam. Far from the madding crowd in dal. Gramatu pakkam kootame illa edam. Mountain of work in dal. Malai poon ru vele giri kirade. Five story building in dal ina anjumari kachidam. Housewarming function in dal ina vid punniya achchani villa. Long lit accommodation in dal ina nee da khada varai ki veda kuri edam. Lit in dal varai ki veda bade. Fully furnished flat in dal ina. Weetle, Adadu, or Vadaiko Radam and Mandal, Ange Ule, Anaitu Meji in Arkaligal, AC, TV, Anaitu Murkirade, fully furnished flat. Feel yourself home, Indal in a Unode, Yilate Pondu, Unai, Unode, Vite Pondu, Nanetu Kolendre, Virundal Yilukucholla Kudia Vasagam. Home sick and all in a Vitin, Vitin, Nanetu Kundir, but the Vitla Ma Pavi Pachin, Nanetu Kundir, but a home sick. Flat is completely refurnished and all in a. Tanga Kodia and the Yadam for Munumiaka Pudupika Patrikaradu, paint a large furnish, refurnish Manapadigrade. I am not particularly at home with mathematics. I am not particularly at home with something na, na, wundu, yanaka pidikadi and Badrakana Vasakam. I am not particularly at home with so and so. Aditha dahe, homely atmosphere. Homely atmosphere and all in a. Nama Vita Pundu Rikara, Anba Hirikara, Nandra Hirikara, the Pasama Hirikara, and the Sulum Burde, homely atmosphere and the Sulvir Hill. Add the Akapar Kumburde, take out a mortgage, Sote Adamana Bay, mortgage and all Adamana Bay Pade, dilapidated building and all Paul Adain the Katidam, no room for you and all Unur Nangal Seramat home, 
it is roomy என்றால் காட்சோட்டமாக இருக்கிறது flat என்றால் குடியிருப்புல அதாவது ஒரு குடியிருப்பு கட்டிடத்திலே ஒரு குடியிருப்பை flat apartment என்றால் குடியிருப்பு கட்டிடம் அங்க பல பல குடும்பங்கள் அங்கே வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறார்கள் rent என்றால் ஒரு இடத்திற்காக மாதாந்திர வாடகை கொடுக்கிறீர்கள் அந்த இடம் உங்களுக்கு சொந்தமில்ல அதான் rent rental என்றால் என்ன ஒரு பொருளை வாடகைக்கு எடுத்து அதை ஒரு மணி நேரத்திற்கு அல்லது வாரந்தோறும் அல்லது மாதத்திற்கு ஒரு முறை அதை கணக்கிட்டு அந்த சேவைகளுக்கு கொடுக்கக்கூடிய அந்த தொகை தான் ரெண்டல் சார்ஜ் சேவைகளுக்காக கொடுக்கக்கூடிய அந்த பணத்தை சார்ஜ் என்று சொல்வீர்கள் உதாரணத்துக்கு டாக்டர் வருகிறார் அவர் ஒரு சேவை செய்கிறார் டாக்டர்ஸ் சார்ஜ் மின்சாரம் வழங்கப்படுகிறது மின்சாரம் ஒரு சேவை எலக்ட்ரிசிட்டி சார்ஜ் டெலிஃபோன் ஒரு சேவை டெலிஃபோனுக்கு கொடுக்கக்கூடிய பணத்தை டெலிஃபோன் சார்ஜ் சார்ஜ் என்பது சேவைகளுக்கு கொடுக்கக்கூடிய அந்த பணத்தை சார்ஜ் என்று சொல்கிறோம் ரேட் என்றால் ஒரு சேவையை பயன்படுத்தி கொள்கிறீர்கள் அதற்கு ஒரு மணி நேரம் மாதாந்திரம் வீ வாராந்திரம் என்று சொல்லி அதற்கு தகுந்தபடியாக பணம் கொடுக்கக்கூடியது தான் இந்த ரேட் உதாரணத்திற்கு ஒரு யாரையாவது ஹையர் பண்ணுறீங்க ரேட் ஒரு நடிகரை ஒரு படத்தில் ஒரு விளம்பரத்திற்காக அவரை வந்து சம்பளம் கொடுத்து நடிக்க வைக்கிறீங்க அவருக்கு ஒரு மணி நேரத்துக்கு இவ்வளவுன்னு ஒரு சார்ஜ் ஒரு அமௌண்ட் கொடுக்கணும் அதுக்கு ரேட் என்று சொல்லலாம் ஃபேர் எஃப்ஏஆர்இ என்றால் என்ன விமான போக்குவரத்திற்கு அதுக்கு கொடுக்கக்கூடிய தொகையை எஃப்ஏஆர்இ ஃபேர் என்று சொல்வீர்கள் ட்ரெயினில் போகிறக்கு புகை வண்டியில் போகிறக்கு அதுக்கு கொடுக்கக்கூடிய அந்த பணத்தை ஃபேர் என்று சொல்வீர்கள் பஸ்ஸில் டிக்கெட் எடுத்து போவதற்கு பஸ் ஃபேர் எஃப்ஏஆர்இ என்று சொல்ல வேண்டும் ப்ரைஸ் என்றால் என்ன ஒரு பொருளை வாங்குவதற்காக கொடுக்கக்கூடிய பணம் விலை எக்கனாமிக்கல் என்றால் என்ன எக்கனாமிக்கல் என்றால் ஒரே பொருள் ஒரு இடத்துல அதிக விலை இன்னொரு இடத்துல கம்மியான விலையில் விற்கப்படுகிறது அப்போ இது எக்கனாமிக்கல் என்றால் என்ன இது சிக்கனம் எக்கனாமிக்கல் என்றாலே சிக்கனம் மிச்சப்படுத்தலாம் பணம் ஹையர் என்றால் என்ன ஏதோ ஒரு பொருளை எடுத்துக்கிறீங்க அது ஒரு மணி நேரங்களுக்கு வாரந்தோறத்துக்கு அல்லது மாதாந்திரமாக கொடுக்கக்கூடிய அந்த தொகையை செலுத்தக்கூடிய தொகையை அந்த சேவைக்காக அந்த பொருளுக்காக அதை ஹையர் என்று சொல்வீர்கள் மேனர் என்றால் என்ன ஒருவர் இன்னொருவரிடம் எப்படி பழகிகிறார்கள் பிஹேவியர் அவர்களுடைய நடத்தை அதை மேனர் என்று சொல்வீர்கள் மேனர்ஸ் வேற மேனர் வேற மேனர் என்றால் ஒருவர் அல்லது ஒரு குரூப்பு இன்னொரு ம குரூப்பிட்ட எப்படி அவர்கள் நடந்து கொள்கிறார்கள் அந்த நடத்தை அதை மேனர் என்று சொல்வீர்கள் ஸோ முப்பத்தி நாலு வொக்காபுலரி பார்த்தீங்க இந்த தலைப்பு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா உங்களுக்கு கண்ட்ரி சைடு கிராமத்து பக்கம் அப்போ கிராமத்து பக்கம்னா அது என்னென்ன சொற்றொடர்கள் இருக்கிறது ஃப்ளாட் ஃப்ளாட்னா என்னென்ன சொற்றொடர்கள் இருக்கிறது அப்பார்ட்மெண்ட் அதுக்கு என்னென்ன சொற்றொடர்கள் இருக்குது ரூம் என்றால் அறை ஆங்கிலத்தில் ரூமில் என்னென்ன சொற்றொடர்கள் இருக்கிறதோ அந்த சொற்றொடர்கள் தான் போட்டுக்கிறீங்க பாருங்கள் அப்பார்ட்மெண்ட்னால் அதுக்கு ரெண்ட்டு கொடுக்கணும் ரெண்டல் கொடுக்கணும் சார்ஜ் கொடுக்கணும் ரேட்டு கொடுக்கணும் பஸ் டிக்கெட்டு இதெல்லாம் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இந்த ஒக்காபுலரியே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இதெல்லாம் வந்து இந்த டாப்பிக்கின் கீழே வரக்கூடிய இந்த ஒக்காபுலரிஸ் இது பைகாட் பண்ணிக்கோங்க அடுத்த செட் நம்ம போவோம் கண்டினியூஷன் தேங்க்யூ